beautiful souls, today I want to talk to you about what I see as people's biggest error or failure in life. And that is they keep tolerating what they do not desire in their heart. They keep putting up with and tolerating what they don't truly want or love or like in life. That goes for jobs, career, environment and place where they live. Their, their workspace, the place, their environment, their location, their house, if they're who they're living with, they're sharing with, etc. The people and the relationship that they are in, be it a romantic relationship or a household, family based relationship, people keep tolerating and putting up with what they do not truly desire in their heart. Ask yourself this in your life, and I bet you anything you are doing at least one or two or three of the categories. Another one is what they keep putting up with the shit that they eat, their, the food, their diet. They keep putting up with what their heart, their true, their heart, their spirit, their soul does not want. People keep putting up, putting up, putting up, putting up. Eventually, okay, let's shift. Eventually, there comes a point where people have had go to a point, a breaking point, where they say to themselves, they've had enough, they've had enough. And that is when people are willing to make changes. Usually when the pain of sticking with the, the, the certain monotonous, the putting up with the same thing that they're comfortable with is too painful, is worse than the fear of change and the fear of the unknown and the fear of certainty. The fear of uncertainty, I mean, and, and unknown. So. People are comfortable in their uncomfortable places, they're, they're used to it, so even if they're being abused or bullied, they have a sense of safety, because they know it's going to happen. But to face and to go out there on your own, into the big bad wide world on your own, and to face all the un uncertainty and challenges you don't know what's going to happen, that scares people a lot. So in this video, I ask and implore you to follow your spirit and your heart. Stop tolerating. Get out of those shitty relationships that do not serve your joy or highest good. Leave those locations that do not serve you and your heart and make your joyful spirit alive and spread its wings and fly into the world. Stop putting up with the nonsense, the crap, the bullshit, the negativity, the sad, the, 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 the lower, the bad, the poor, the low vibrations of the people or the relationship you're in S look after yourself so this is going to moving again so the other thing i see people not doing is practicing self-love and this actually is a category what i mentioned already is a category of practicing self-love now my favorite video that i ever made probably one of my favorites anyway one of the favorites is this video here how to actually practice self-love and it's one of my more popular ones, not the most popular by views at all, but I think it's one of the most popular ones. And I never even intended to make that video, but what it talks about is how to actually practice self-love. Because people talk about it, and that video talk, it talks simply and educationally how to actually practice self-love. So I ask you to practice self-love more potently and powerfully, more poignantly, more pristinely and more purely love yourself guys even if you feel you don't and some of us don't start practice looking after yourself a little bit better please because I want to raise the consciousness of the planet and yours so my ego can feel better about itself <laughs> now nah, I'm just kidding but yeah I do want to raise the consciousness of the planet I want to live in a brighter, happier, more sparkly world. Um, and I want you to live your soul's journey, not your fearful ego shallow journey, your deeper essence. So that's all I want to say everybody, just a reminder, stay blessed and be well and look after yourself and each other, but especially yourself, because the worse you look after yourself, the, the more, don't be hanging around the five people who you surround yourself with the most. They're going to have it rub off on you enormously. So try and surround yourself with uplifting, positive, deeper, meaningful people on the spiritual uplifting path. Whatever path you want actually, okay? But for me, that's what I want. People who are uplifted, inspired, positive, true, deep, genuine, honest, inspired, powerful, empowered, 
more on the pure, pure and holy, as in pure, unblocked, clean, cleanliness is godliness. We are a branch of God on the tree of God. We are a branch of source, universe life on the tree of life. And we're blocked. We do not, the, the tree of life, the God, the, the source energy is like not going into the branch that we are. We are an extension of life, of the universe. That's why cleanliness is godliness. When you have a clean mind and heart and clean body, you're unobstructed. The flow of the universe comes to you naturally. That's when you get the synchronicities. That's when you access the divine power that you are, the divine being. So don't forget about that also, everyone. So uh, very important. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, share with your friends and family. To, to join me on Facebook, to befriend me, or to learn more about me and who I am and my work, my passion, click on the links below in the description and you can then also find my website and my work and get one-to-one -one coaching and healing from me and check out my herb shop also below and you're gonna like that so that's it have blessings